Hey everybody, Rob back here with Falker Sports Cards, and today we'll be opening up the brand new uh, 2024 Bowman Mega Boxes. So I've got four of them here. Uh, I was out at Walmart and saw them on the uh, on the shelf. Decided to pick them up. Uh, they are five dollars extra at Walmart than uh, normal. Uh, Fifty bucks there instead of a uh, forty-five, which I think is what it is on the Topps website. So we'll go ahead and get into these. Not going to open up the cold packs, going to save those for my uh, cold pack stash, <laughs> essentially. But um, we'll just be opening up the, the mojo packs because that's where it's at anyway. So <clears throat> I want to know what you guys think while I'm opening this up here. Uh, do a little do a little talk here. Um, what do you guys think about Mega Boxes? I, I I say this as I have $200 worth of them right in front of me, but I'm one per I'm I'm kind of a person who likes to open everything once at least and have a good sample size of it to open. Um but you know, if it's no good then I'm not going to keep doing it. I don't really like mega boxes. I don't like the way that they've got the the direction that they've gone. I just if they were cheaper, I would say yes. But the fact that in the last, I think a few years ago, maybe not 2021, maybe 2020, right? Weren't they like $20? And 2021, weren't they like $35? And now they're $50? At $50, I don't see the value here. So first of all, with Bowman, you get these cold packs. Why can't they, why do they have to be cold packs? I'm going to actually bring this down here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Why do they have to be cold packs? Why can't they actually have parallels in them and make them worthwhile? right like does that make any sense to anybody else so basically all you're buying are these two packs here because either you're not going to open these or you're not going to get anything obviously out of them anything of worth so you're only buying them for these two packs here which is essentially what 10 cards um at 50 dollars, that's a lot per card and then you're not even guaranteed to get a hit out of any box and a hit being a numbered card or an autograph now the autographs are not firsts because they're different cards than the first Bowman autographs of these players. So they're less desirable, the autographs, because they're not first. And you basically have to bank on hitting a parallel. How are you going to do that for 50 bucks? Um, I don't know. I feel like this would be a much better buy at $25 to $35, depending on what they But, you know, we've seen 2023 Bowman mega boxes and 2023 bowman chrome mega boxes uh on flash sales and blowout and stuff for like 25 to 30 dollars so you know maybe the key is to not buy off the rip but then again you're buying off the rip because you're trying to be the first to get something and then sell it and all that good stuff anyway i don't like it at the price that it's at i just want to be totally clear about that even though I did just buy $200 worth, and this is what you get for $200 worth, right? So let's just remember that. Not a big fan of the direction that the Mega Boxes have gone, but let's get into it anyway. Still going to be chasing Ellie De La Cruz and Jason Dominguez and all the Bowman uh, guys like uh, Walker Jenkins and stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> all right, this is going to be a cold pack here. That tricked me. That's the rookie of the year favorites there. Mason Wynn. Henry Davis. Mason Wynn. Max Clark. And Brandon Maia. So if we don't get anything out of this pack, just think, like, we literally just bought, uh, paid $50 for these 10 cards that are almost worthless, right? Yep, looks like got nothing in this one either. Bobby Witt, Corbin Carroll. Hey, at least we got a first of Bryce Matthews there. Pete Crow Armstrong, and Sal Frelick. So, essentially, paid $50 for this card right here. This first Bowman Mojo of Bryce Matthews, when you think about it. So, you know. Now, yeah. Can I open up all these cold packs? Sure. And what am I going to get? Just a couple of firsts. Base, base first. <clears throat> so, this is kind of a, uh, <laughs> a cautionary tale, I guess. On these boxes uh you know maybe last year and the year before it was a better buy than it is this year i think at 45 dollars, 40 dollars, because the odds were better you're gonna see a lot of boxes that have absolutely nothing in it in my opinion like here we go first two boxes absolutely nothing in it never mind <laughs> we get an autograph and whoa and a parallel all right so complain mojo is real is it not guys 
uh max anderson there on the uh the autograph that's weird they're the same stock as look at that they're not thicker even the autographs are the same stock that's really bad on fanatics and tops part to do that autographs especially chrome autographs need to be on 55 point they can't be on this 30 point they're they're, they're not going to last and then we get a curtis mead there rookie purple to 250 I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you do you think it's okay for them to put autographs, specifically chrome autographs, on 35, 35 point stock, 30 card stock? I don't think that's a good idea. One, you're going to get massive bowing on the cards. Now, this one luckily doesn't have it, but most cards will bow quite a bit because there's extra weight on it. Um, not only that, but <laughs> they have a better chance of bending. They have a better chance of basically every everything going wrong with them. I mean, just look at Panini cards. What happens to their autographs that are on 35 stock? You know, and those are their sticker autos on their Chrome. And those go crazy after a while if they're not kept in like top loaders and kept really nice. So I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm just being stupid right now. Maybe I've just had a bad day and taking it out on the cards who knows <clears throat> i keep want to i keep always want to turn it to the side though to see if i have anything uh rafaela there makes him win again mike trout these look a little bit weird by the way like uh the players don't look as clear on the picture they kind of look grainy can you see that right there right there you see like his face they kind of look grainy it's interesting I don't remember that in previous years for Mojo. But let me know what you guys think about Mega Boxes. I'm I'm interested to hear what other people think. If I'm alone on this, then then I'm alone on it, and that's it. But hey, there's a good one, George Lombardo. We got a uh, gold coming up here. Let's put that down. Jeez, there I go talking about how bad they are, and boom, get a gold. Let's see, will it be a first? Uh, it's gonna be a first. Carson Wisenhunt, gold, numbered six out of, or that's not gold, that's yellow, six out of 75. <clears throat> Carson Wisenhunt, okay. I don't know much about him, actually. Let's take a look. Second round, 2022, born in 2000. So he's nearing that age where you kind of hope that he would be coming up soon. 25, 24. All right, so what, two packs left here? So last box here. Marco Luciano, Jesu Tapala. So George Lombard is probably our best base card so far that we've gotten. I don't think we can't really say that we've gotten anything better than that yet. Uh, Kodai Singa, Gunnar Henderson. There's the best one, Dylan Cruz. And Francisco Alvarez. So there you have it. So I opened up four boxes. And that was $200 worth. So yeah, we did get that one pack that had the two in it. So technically, we only had two packs with anything in it. Um, I don't know, $200. I'm not sure I'm buying $200 worth of a hobby box to get one auto and two parallels, right? Are you? Well, maybe you are if you're buying Bowman Hobby, right? You're buying $300 worth to get that. But I digress. So that'll be the uh, the video here, guys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be picking up any more of this stuff. I'll probably pick up singles of stuff that I want. Uh, again, you know, your autographs are not going to be first Bowman autographs. He, he wouldn't have been a first Bowman anyway because he was in draft last year. Uh, you're essentially just chasing first Bowman or rookie parallels. Um, I don't know if there's rookie autographs. I'm sure there are, but maybe chase those too. Uh, chase them if you want, but kind of steep uh, price tag to do so in my opinion, for retail. So that'll be it, guys. I'll be back here with uh, another video sometime soon. Catch you later.